Hi everyone, SAS Visual Analytics offers many ways for the users to interact with data. When most users are creating reports or exploring data, it's also possible to build models using SAS Visual Analytics. In this video, I will show you how you can create a model in VA, register it in SAS Model Manager and publish it to the SAS Micro Analytics services for consumption on the web. Let's start with the demo. The first step will be to connect to the environment. So we, I will connect as SBXXAB, which is my user ID. I don't need to be a SAS administrator for that. what we will be doing now. So I'm connecting, accessing the SAS drive, which is the landing page for most of your applications. I will directly go to explore and visualize, basically SAS Visual Analytics. I could have also loaded the data using the manage data, but I will import the data directly within uh, VA. So let's connect to VA. I will start with data. Choose the data. I want to import some data. I have previously downloaded some data from the web. It's available over here. It's artdata.csv. I will open it. Then what I want to do is import it into a CAS library, which in this case will not be the public CAS library, but the CAS user library. So it will be specifically loaded for myself. Then I will import the item. The file will soon be imported and it's successfully done. I will click on OK there to go back to my report. In the report, I see all the data over here, but what I will do is add an, a new object, which is automated explanation, because I would like to identify which are the major risk factors that are impacting the status of my user or my person. So in this case, I will select the status. The status will be dead or alive. As you see, the underlying factors are directly specified for all the other variables. What I know is that from the data, I don't need the status or all the variables with status at the end because these variables are redundant with the smoking, for example, or the weight and weight status are redundant. So I don't want to see these variable. The variable over here is not needed neither. Then I see the result and for which factors are the most related to the status that are alive. I see the repartition, for example, for the age at start, systolic level. I see I get information about the dead or alive status. And f depending on the variable that I see, I will see another graph. For example, for the sex here, I will see a bar chart, but in, the, in another way. A stacked bar chart. As you can see here, we have eight factors, while here we have a lo much longer list. So what I want to know is why some factors are not listed. So I will maximize my object. And in the object, I see that the screen factors over here, out of the 11 factors, four have been removed or modified. So I want to see why they have been removed or modified. In this case, some, some factors were rejected. So the death cause, for example, is a subset of the response of the status. And we see also here that the smoking has been converted to a category, which is nice. So, so far, so good. I have at least a better understanding of which factors are impacting my um, status. What I will do now is create a model based on the information that we have here, and I will use a gradient boosting model. I will add it to a new page. I will change the role for that object. Of course, I will select the status and then add the predictors. For the predictors, I will select the ones that we have seen on the automated analysis. I don't want to select the eight because the, the eight doesn't seem to be a major factor. And I will then select the other objects or variables. What will happen here? 
the gradient boosting will be created, which is fine. I see the number of trees that were used and the quality of the mis misclassification rate. So the lower, the better. What I can do, because we have here used the standard parameters, we can use auto-tune. And with auto-tune, we can define that we want to analyze the data using uh, different number of iterations, a maximum number of evaluations, and we'll auto-tune the model and the SAS server will do it for, for us. So let's click on auto-tune. So while, while we are waiting here, the auto-tune will basically execute a diff different levels of variables for the learning rate, the subsample rate, the lasso, the ridge, and so on. And based on the results, it will decide which option is the best for each of the uh, variables. We see now that the auto-tune has done its work. So we see here that 111 trees should be used to give the best result. What we will do now, if we want to get more explanation about the calculation that has been done, the variable importance can be seen, the standard deviation for each uh, variable. We have the iteration history and the misclassification rate. So basically the data that is used here in, in, the, in the graph, the confusion matrix, which explains exactly how many observations were misclassified. We have the lift, the ROC um, data, misclassifications, also the assessment statistics and the assessment summary where we can get more information about the statistics that were calculated and plotted. So let's see that what we can do now. So we know that the model has been created using gradient boosting. What we'll do now is register the model. This task will basically register the model into a repository and our repository is in this case, the VA repository. I will call my model art gradient boosting. I will click on OK. It will automatically register it and we will be able to use the model within model manager. The model is now registered. We will switch to model manager, manage models. In model manager, we will try to find our model to see if it is there. We see here that the gradient boosting is available. It was recreated by me and it's a classification model. Let's create a project because we might want to add other models to, to this project for the art attack prediction. Okay, let's create the model. We will give it a name, art attack prediction project. It's a prediction model function. We will use prototype and we'll store it in the default location. We can add other information, but for the purpose of this demo, we only need to give a project name, which is far more than enough. So what we will do now, we will create the project. The project is created behind the scene for us, and we will add the model that we have created earlier. So let's add the model. We'll copy it from the model that we have already. So the model is stored in VA repository. It's called Earth Gradient Boosting, and we will import it. The model is copied. That means that we are having two different versions of the model, one in the project and another one in the model list so that we can update the one in the project without touching the basic model that was saved from Visual Analytics. So from here, what we will do, we will just publish the model, select it, publish it, and we will publish it to mass. The benefit of publishing the model to mass is that we will be able to use it further from the web, for example. We have also, as you have seen here, the option to publish it to CAS, but that's not the objective of today, as we want to this demo how we can use the model directly on the web. So we will publish the model. Now that the model is published, you can see the microanalytic module. This is basically the name that will be used later to access the module from the web. We will use that URL 
later on in the application so we will now see how we can build the application i've now opened up my project within um, visual studio code it's a react project so i've created a react application using the create react app command line interface I've also imported some modules that I will use and then I have defined some components. Uh, I will just cover them pretty quickly because the purpose is not to really to explain how you can develop an application, but basically how, how to consume the mass uh, modules. So I've created an instance. The instance points to the server that I'm using. I have created some components. The components are the header bar that will appear at the top of the application. We have a loading module that will appear while the code is executing. We have a mass form, which is basically defining a few sliders for our form and displaying these to make the selection. You will see clearly what, what I mean when you will see the, the application. We have also the mass result. The mass result will basically retrieve the information that is sent from the mass uh, execution. We have some data pages, which is used in the home page to display a small summary of the what is what will be displayed. We have the different pages and for our applications, we have now only three pages, uh, one home page, which displays the list of pages that are available, but in this case, it will only be one. We have the logon and the logon page is used to fill in the username and password to connect to the SAS via environment. And, it's, and then we have the mass page and the mass page, as we have seen, is using the mass form and the mass result, as well as the loading component and concatenating these all together. Then we have the app.js, which is basically the, the, the information, the wrapper for all the components that we have created. We have also some context that we can use to share the information between the pages. Now that you have seen this, I will start up the application. The application is starting. I will then switch to my browser. This is our page. So the home page, which displays the art attack prediction, the name of the application, and one of the page that is available, but in this case, only one page. If I click on the mass page, it will open up the login page. And within the login page, I can fill in my username and password. Click on login. It's now displaying the form that is used to provide parameters to the mass module. Let's define some values i'm not really interested in the values in, but more in the results then if i click on evaluate i see that the patient has 91.63 percent of chance to die of our disease which is not really nice but that's the statistics based on these variables you see that the status alive and dead if i for example change the cholesterol status, I reduce the age at start to 40 and most probably the systolic level. I see you see here that there is less chance to to die from our disease. If I reduce the number of cigarettes per day, you are reducing the possibilities or the the risk to die. So as you have seen, we are now having a small application that is using the model that we have built within VA using some data that we have collected from an external source. And using this model, we have published the model to mass and we can create a web interface to interact with it pretty quickly. You have now seen the demonstration. If you want to get more information about the content of this demo, you can have a look at the getting started with visual analytics models. You can also get information from SAS model manager publishing models, and you can also get information about the macro analytics core using REST APIs. Of course, all the code is available within a GitHub repository where you can find the link below. Thank you for your attention and check back with the technical insights 
and expertise series for additional tips and tutorials.